Today we're going to talk about the BR-1800. This is a, uh, a backrest bag, a sissy bar bag, a rack bag, and a seat bag. It mounts all of those ways. You can mount it on a bike that has a rack, on a bike that has a backrest, on a bike that has no rack or no backrest as well. I'm going to go into some of the details of the bag. Start off with the front compartment. It has a place for pins, for business cards, for things, miscellaneous items that you want to uh, carry along with you. It has side pockets. They both expand out, so you get a little bit of extra room. On the front, you have a pocket that uh, you're able to uh, install. These things have so many pockets, it's amazing. You also have a, a top pocket for, uh, for items. You have a nice inner compartment so that you're able to fit things. You can actually get a full face helmet in there and maybe stuff around a leather jacket. It's very compact, yet it's very, very spacious. There's a, uh, a sleeve for a small personal computer that you can use there also. You have netting in the back. The bags are uh, water resistant, UV resistant, mildew resistant, yet they all come with an attached rain cover in the back. And believe me, there's so much room. Now, you can detach it as well, but there's so much room in this, you're not going to need to detach it. It can be mounted on, uh, on a sissy bar just by pulling these rods out and extending the, the back pouch to fit over the width of your sissy bar or your sissy bar pad. They even work on angled sissy bars from this way. You can start out here and angle it down and now there's rods on each side that do that so that it makes a custom fit and the great thing about this is that now all you have to do is take your bag off at the end of the day and put it in your room bring it back out the next morning and it's automatically adjusted it's a one time it's a set it and forget it and instead of if you have multiple bikes instead of having to buy multiple bags this will fit on all of the sissy bars all of the touring pads, all of the backrest pads that uh, that you can uh, that you have out there. So it's really one bag that you need to get, and that's it. We're going to be talking about three of our most popular bags: the BR3400, the BR1800, and the EXS1100. First off, using the VersaMount system, obviously you see this bike has no rack, no backrest. How can we mount this? Just this simple. Very few steps. First, we unlock the seat. Slide it out from the back. And we're going to take a measurement on the seat. I'm going to put these together. That's about right. Now we take and lock our seat in place, lock the mount in place with a piece of velcro, or with the, uh, with the double D-rings. It can be mounted both ways. I want to check and see which is the best way to mount it, either forward or backward. Depending on where you want your bag, you notice how it has a cutout here. That way we can mount it farther back. But today, I'm going to mount it forward. Now some of you guys might want to put something down over your fender, a piece of clear plastic, a little towel, a rag, something to prevent uh, friction on your fender if you ever take it off and you want to run just a solo seat. So you mount it smooth side down, tabs up. Now we take the seat, slide it back into place. there. Now, slide our mounting plate. Make sure that it's even on both sides. And then lock our seat in place. Now, we have our Versa mount system permanently locked in. Now we're going to take our BR3400 now this can be mounted two ways. It can be mounted with the Velcro facing forward or it can be mounted with the Velcro facing backwards. The, 
reason that uh, it has the Velcro in it is because we have a backrest. So today, we're going to mount it with the Velcro facing forward. Put it on our seat, position it down. This is very simple. Take these dog leash style hooks. I'm going to take four of them out and I'm going to plug them in. And I'm just going to hook these. Now you can hook it up top or you can hook it low. I like to hook it up top because it gives the bag a little more stability, but it's a personal choice. Now I'm going to fasten them on the back side. Next step, pull them down, get, get it snug. Tighten it in place. Now with these end pieces, some of you guys, this one has a rubber band on it. Some of you guys, uh, when I had my hair in a ponytail, I used to get those ponytailers. You can put the ponytailer on this and you can wrap your, uh, wrap your strap around that so it holds it in place. Or you just take your strap, you wrap it around a couple of times and loop it in. Because you don't want that flapping around because it could, uh, uh, could scrape your paint a little bit. But now the bag is mounted in place. All four pieces are tight. We load it up, heavy stuff in the bottom, light stuff in the top, lock it down, just about ready to go on our ride. But now we take our backrest. Mount it on the Velcro of the BR3400. Now I have a backrest for my bike, along with a great piece of luggage. I'm ready to go for a week or two. In fact, I think I'm going to start this up and do it right now.